of the all-time greats, not just in Japan, but in the history of Major League Baseball. He is back with the Mariners. And who knows, for a couple games, maybe more, but Ichiro, the center of attention here in Tokyo as we get this 2019 MLB season started. The Mariners will face Mike Fires, who is making his first opening day start of his career. He's been around for nine years, four different teams. And here's D. Gordon leading it off. Gordon, the left-handed hitter. Fires ready, and the 1 0 pitch on the way. As a swing and a drive to right. Piscotti is there, and he makes the catch. A line shot. And that's the way, in resounding fashion, this ball game begins. Marco Gonzalez. Who, like Mike Fires, is making his first ever opening day start. Quickly two way. And Piscotti's coming up. And here's the 1 1 to Steven. That's a drive. This is well hit to center. Hanniger going back. He's at the track, right to the wall. He will turn and watch it fly. And there's the first run of 2019. It comes to straightaway center field. A tremendous shot off the bat of Steven Piscotti. It's 1 0 Athletics in the first. He's have got to find a way to get something here. Now, here's the pitch to Marcus. That's a line drive, base hit to left. That'll score one run. Pinder has scored. Olsen goes to third. Santana plays it back and gives the A's a 2 nothing lead. And now we'll pause as Ichiro makes his way to home plate, and you'll hear a thunderous applause. Tonight's batter for the Mariners, right fielder, number 51, Ichiro Suzuki. Looks pretty natural to have him back in that uh, Mariners uniform, doesn't it? Really does. 45 years old. And here comes the 1-0. Swung on high fly ball. Didn't get it. Shallow right center. Backing up on it is Profar. And the second baseman will squeeze it. He's going to get cheered for that. And then right there you see the frustration of each run. Here's D. Gordon who walked all of nine times last year for the Mariners. Swung on at a one-hopper to Profar. Gets through Profar. Here comes Beckham, the third, getting a wave on. Here's the throw from right field, and it is not in time. Mariners on the board. It's 2-1 Oakland here in the third. So bases loaded spot for Domingo Santana with his power. Fires deals fastball. Swung on, hit to right field and deep. It's a slicing drive. Giddy up, gone! Great slam! Domingo Santana! <laughs> Welcome to Seattle, Domingo Santana. Grandma, get out the rye bread and mustard. Grand salami time. And the Mariners have a healthy lead here. It's 5-2 to two, Seattle. Out number two and see if Chris Davis can pick up the A's. He led the majors a year ago with 48 home runs. He swings and slams one. Deep left center. Way back and gone for Chris Davis. A monster shot. Chris underway on opening night again. A two-run blast. The A's now trail at five to four. And the first salute of 2019 around third base for KD. And now Ichiro stands in. Ichiro saw two pitches from Fires. Ball one, then he popped up to shallow right on the second offering. Another three-two. It is in the dirt. Ball four. Ichiro will take his base. There's the manager for the Mariners, Scott Service, who has made the call to right field. And Ichiro is uh, coming off the field. And it's all the rest of the Mariners to applaud Ichiro. And Ichiro hugging his teammates as he comes across the line. And you have to wonder, will these be the final two games that we will see number 51 put on a uniform for the Seattle Mariners? But Ichiro is out of the ball game. And it's now the Mariners 7 and the A's 4. And here is shortstop Tim Beckham. Here's the pitch on the way. Swinging a well-hit ball deep to left center field. Pinder going back, looking up. Goodbye baseball, Tim Beckham. Welcome to Seattle. A two-run shot here in the top of the fifth inning. And it's now the Mariners nine and the A's four. And now here's Matt Chapman. Doubled and scored back in the third. A one for three night for the A's third baseman. Got to do something here and get something home. Down by five. Swung on hit high and deep to right. Way back there. Giving a look as Bruce. And out it goes for Matt Chapman. A mammoth three-run shot. And the A's are firmly back in this game. Hunter Strickland, 14 saves last year as a San Francisco Giant, is the new closer for the Mariners. Two outs for the A's, and they're down to their final out. And here is Matt Chapman. Delivers, and a swing, and a miss for strike three, and the ball game is over. The Mariners win it on opening night 2019 here in Tokyo. A final score of 9-7 to seven over the Oakland A's.
the fans filing in and looking forward to seeing one of their all time greats. Ichiro is here as tonight the Tokyo Dome plays host to the Seattle Mariners and the Oakland A's. And here comes Ichiro and listen to the ovation for number 51 here in Tokyo. Hit it hard but foul. And the oohs and ahs by the crowd of 50,000 wanted to see Ichiro come up with a big base hit. Ball four, Ichiro will take his base. around the bases. Oh, did he do it again? No. He sure did. Tim Beckham's hit his second homer of the season. This time, Beckham will take a 93 mile an hour fastball in. A pretty good pitch by Sale. And a mini bat flip. The JV version. Under, just had to meet it. Full count, three and two. Meanwhile, to Edwin Encarnacion. Out to center field and well hit. Bradley can only watch, and it's gone! And the Parrot gets a ride in the Northwest for the first time. New uniform, same old Eddie. 
just an interesting thing to point out. Did Tim Beckham get him again? Tim Beckham got him again! Wow! Lene. Did he just get his first of 2019? He did. The fourth of the afternoon for Seattle. Their level. A high fly ball to deep left field. Benintendi measuring off the wall. One's gone. And this young man is Tom Murphy signed to the team. Here's a job right field and deep. Got some carry. Giddy up. Gone. Home run, Malik Smith. One nothing, Seattle. Five home runs last night, and already, Cha Ching. So for Malik Smith, is a Mariner triple left. You did see, go in line and look it up. Here's great stuff. Here's a drive left field. That ain't coming back. Two nothing, Mariners. Domingo Santana with his third home run. The Mariners, two home runs this inning, five last night. Two nothing Seattle. I think he wants to stay in the lineup. Here's the 2 Cranked. Stay fair. It does. And it's a home run. Got over the yellow line. Home run, Omar Narvaez. A third home run for the Mariners tonight. And it's 3-1 Seattle. Some good two-strike hitting. First hit as a Mariner for Omar. Here's Jay Bruce. Drives one. Right center field. Long run, Bradley. Not going to get it. Goodbye. Three-run homer, Jay Bruce. Mariners have a 6-2 lead over the defending world champion Boston Red Sox. First home run as a Mariner. Takes his RBI total to 5, and he blistered that baby out of here. And the Mariners continue to hit the ball. Solo's head, a 1. This one driven deep to right. That baby's going to get out of here. Home run, Omar Narvaez. Three-run shot, and the Mariners have a 5-3 lead. Omar checking in with his second home run as a Mariner, both in this series here at home. So he's two for two today. And what a big rip that was. 1-1. One, one. Like I said, taking it out of play. Going back, Mookie, gone! Home run, Jay Bruce. His second in as many nights in the Mariners. Double figures, it's 10-6 Seattle. Jay Bruce, big fella, heating up. Stretch and the 2-2 on the way. Swing and a fly ball deep to left center field. Trout going back, looking up. Goodbye baseball. Daniel Vogelback, his first home run of the season. Into the pen in left center field. And opposite field. Home run for Daniel Vogelback. Gives the Mariners a two to one lead here in the bottom of the eighth inning. The opposite way on a line, smoke to the wall, and this is gone over the fence for a home run. Vogelback, second of the season. He is homered in back to back games, and the Mariners are run closer. It's now six four White Sox. 
Felix Hernandez will get his second start of the year. He pitched very well his last outing at home against the Angels. Next offer, swing and a drive into the gap in right center field. And deep going and going and goodbye baseball. Jay Bruce jumping on a 2-1 pitch from Lucas Giolito. The Mariners have now homered in 10 consecutive games at the start of the season. A Mariner club record. And for the Mariners, their 22nd home run of the year. 3-2 pitch again. Santana runs again. And line drive, deep left field. It is gone. The Parrot will get a ride. Edwin Encarnacion with his second Mariner home run, a line drive bullet. It's just a matter of whether it was going to be oh, high enough. Oh, 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 man. Four RBIs today for Encarnacion. Well, Dave, I said it wasn't going to be too much longer. And he wouldn't miss that fastball. I didn't know it was going to be in this at bat. <laughs> Two strikes. Here's the 2 2 pitch of the way. Swing and a well hit ball down the right field line. This one is going, going, and goodbye baseball. Daniel Vogelback with a line drive leadoff home run here in the top half of the second. He is red hot. The Mariners now have hit home runs in 12 consecutive games, so they continue to add on to their club record for home runs in consecutive games at the start of the year. Junis in with a sign. Here is the 3-1 pitch. Swing and a fly ball to the straightaway left field in deep. Going back, going to the warning track near the wall. Leaps up. Goodbye baseball. Jay Bruce with an opposite field home run into the Mariners bullpen. And the Mariners now have hit in 13 consecutive games to start the year. And they continue to add on their Mariners record. 33rd home run of the season. A 1-0 Mariner lead. The opposite away. This is carrying. Merrifield is watching. It is gone. Go ahead, home run in the ninth inning. And history has been tied in Kansas City. Make it now 14 straight games to open the season. Mariners hit in a home run. They have tied themselves with the 2002 Cleveland Indians. In between commercial breaks, trying to wipe down the lenses. D corks this out to right field. It is back. It is back and gone. D Gordon home run number one puts the Mariners on the board and history has been set in Kansas City. The Mariners have homered in each of the first 15 games to open up the 2019 season. It's a new all time major league record. The wind up and the one two pits swung on high in the air deep left field. Brantley going back. To the warning track, to the wall, looking up. Goodbye baseball into the Astros bullpen. Tom Murphy with his first home run in the Mariners uniform. The Mariners have now hit in 16 consecutive games to start the season. The pitch, Hanniger with a swing and a fly ball deep into center field. Marisna going back to the warning track, to the wall. Goodbye baseball. Mitch Hanniger with the first hit of the night off of Justin Verlander out to the pen in left center field. His fourth home run of the season. The Mariners get on the board. It's now the Astros two and the Mariners one. And now the Mariners have hit home runs in 17 consecutive games to start the season. So they just.
The Seattle Mariners are up next inside their draft room. Uh, this is a farm system ranked 14th overall by Baseball America. Tonight representing the M's. A guy that Harold, you know rather well, Bill Swift yeah, in the house. Nasty synchro. What's up, Swift? Hey. Yeah, he was uh, second overall by the M's in 1984. He played seven seasons with the Seattle Mariners. Change the direction Obviously. of the organization, that guy. Oh, maybe this next pick will. There you go. With the 20th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners select George Kirby, a right-handed pitcher from Elon University. The Atlanta Braves have the next selection. There are pitchers with plus control, then there's George Kirby. Listen to these numbers, 88 in the third innings, the best strike thrower in this draft class, fanned 107, and he walked six. All year, six. Those numbers obviously caught Trevor Bauer's player's eye. George Kirby, 6'3 righty out of Elon. 91 to 93 fastball right now, but he's shown the ability to bump it into the mid to high 90s at times. He's clean overall mechanically, but a couple small tweaks here and there should allow him to bump that cruising velocity up into the 93 to 95 range, which as a righty in today's game will be extremely important for him moving forward. He's a fastball, changeup, curveball, slider type of pitcher, and he showed elite feel for all of those offerings. His season walk totals actually look more like one game for me, which is impressive on its own. But when you add in the strikeouts, more than a strikeout per inning, it gets even more exciting. He doesn't walk people. He misses a lot of bats. He's put together an impressive college career. A lot to be excited about with George moving forward. Is it just me, or is it scary how good Trevor Bauer is? Oh, it's scary. He's it's good, awesome. man. Yeah, he's it's incredible, impressive. and he enjoys it. Uh, George Kirby, 6'4", 201 pounds. Carlos Colazzo, Baseball America. I want to go to you. He brought something up. If you add velocity, if he can gain velocity, what kind of pitching impact can he make? I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, we, we think that he'll have a plus fastball in the future, kind of like Bauer talked about. It's not the most electric with velocity at this point, but he spots it to both sides of the plate really well. He's got plus command, very easy and clean arm action. Uh, the best strikeout to walk rate in the country, I believe. He's a guy who can spot all of his pitches. We talk about upside arms. Kirby, I don't think, is that, but he's a very high floor pitcher, and that's very valuable. The 59th selection in the 2000 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners select Brendan Williamson, a left-handed pitcher from Texas Christian University. The Atlanta Braves have the next selection. He was great. He was on our top 100 of the top 200 last year. He was at North Iowa Area Community College. He just wasn't going to be signable away from TCU. He's inconsistent, but when you see him on the right day, he can be 91 to 94. Up, even touch 96. He get, uses his height to get good angle on his pitches. He's got a sharp mid 80s slider. He'll show you some depth on a curveball, some tumble on a changeup. He just is still kind of figuring out what kind of pitcher he wants to be. There are times where he almost becomes too much of a finesse guy instead of attacking hitters. But when he attacks hitters with his best stuff, you could see a guy who might fit in the middle of a big league rotation one day. So the upside pick here, I still think there's some untapped potential with him, even though he was at a power program in TCU. The injury doesn't scare anyone else off. Yeah, it's got to scare you a little bit. A little bit? I mean, two hips? A lot. Yeah, the medicals have to come back glowing after surgery on both hips. Well, they have to be okayed, right, by your, by your medical stuff. Yeah. Even to take him in the second round, maybe if he's clean bill of health, we're talking about him as a first rounder with that kind of upside. Not a lot. And with the 76th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Seattle Mariners select Isaiah Campbell, a right-handed pitcher, from the University of Arkansas Fairville. Colorado Rockies have the next selection. I mean, what a journey this kid's life has been. Born in Portugal to an Air Force family. He lived in Portugal, Germany, Turkey, before settling in Arizona, and then Kansas, where he attended high school. And went to Arkansas. <laughs> He's a Friday night starter. He was their guy. So he matched up with all the best starters in the SEC. He performed very well this year. I mean, he profiles as a guy that would make the trip to Secaucus, New Jersey yeah. to be here on draft <laughs> night. Um, Isaiah Campbell uh, goes uh, 76th overall 